multi-purpose car news submitted by Cheap Shoes. An increasing number of Japanese people are renting cars for everything but driving. What? what? Butt driving? <laughs> <laughs> For what? everything but driving. Yeah. Instead of driving. Yeah. Oh, I think meant like, like ass but driving. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no, no, for me, I was thinking like, but you just only drive. So what do they use it for? For photo shoots and stuff? And they're fucking and they're living in them. Yeah. And they're eating in there. I don't know. Nailed it. Oh. To make Wait, beef jerky you on the you wind do. dashboard? Okay. So car rental operators in Japan are saying that there's this weird new trend yeah. that they've noticed that the cars that are being rented have very and usually low mileage. Oh. So it seems as though these people that are renting these cars are barely driving or not driving it at all. So what they did is that they sent out a survey to find out what people are using these cars for. And so some people said that they were using them to eat in, in their car. Or like for example, this one time there was this woman who needed to store some luggage in like a way, but all the lockers at the train station were taken, oh, so she ended up storing it at the tr trunk of the car. Or um, this other guy, like he usually takes a nap when he goes like, to visit his his clients. And it's a bad salesman. <laughs> Just in between, probably in between clients. Yeah, in between. Oh, okay. I was like, they did write, or he, they he's did like, like hey, what's up, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on one second. I know. It's like I love seeing my clients and taking a nap. Yep. <laughs> And so instead of napping at a cyber cafe in front of the station, they, they decided to rent a car, which is like almost the same as staying at the cyber cafe. Uh, and then that cheap, huh? Because cars here to rent are fucking expensive, yeah, man. Yeah. It's like two hundred bucks flat. But there's a lot of apps out there that you could just like oh, kind of like Zipcar. Oh yeah. Yeah, you could just get a car that way. That's why they're saying that they don't even move them sometimes because they just want the car itself, like just like to a sit small, in. like a, just their own price. Like a pod. Space. There's just such a lack of space, I think. They just like, I just okay, need a place to do Japanese something. I wish yeah. they would raise the prices for the fucking bird scooters because they're every goddamn where. Yeah, and they just low. drop them in the middle of the street. I saw one fall over from the wind and hit a car, a parked oh, car. Gosh. And I was like, what do I do? And I didn't right. do anything. <laughs> <laughs> was that what your scooter? You? I was gonna, no, it wasn't my scooter. I was gonna leave a note and be like, hey, if you're wondering what the huge fucking dent on your oh, side door no. is, it's a bird scooter. But I didn't, I didn't want to insert myself Bird scooters. But yeah, they're saying that they were also using Bird these. Scooters. Nice, got them. Thanks. To like just talk on the phone with friends mm. or have like meetings with their business partners. What? People just want to hang out in the car? Uh, they just don't got space. Car. Coffee shops are small, everything's small. Not Especially space. if it's cheap too. Like if it's like 20 bucks and then they can just spend the you know whole time in that car like that's pretty it's better boring. than sitting yeah. in a public space yeah because privacy is really hard to get in japan mm. well mainly in tokyo in public yeah. especially yeah, that's true but everyone be minding their own business in japan yeah yeah that's true yeah it's just a very strange trend that so are they mad in. about it or do they not care well they do they would like people to drive the car because the more <laughs> mileage like they oh, could like charge they more. more. Yeah. And they're like, duh, we're a car rental service. So then it's like, stop using this car for not the purpose of... Maybe they should charge if they don't hit a certain mile. But then that's kind of dick to do. That's so dick. Geo, you're so corporate. You used to be one of us. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, guys. Corporate Geo, hashtag I corporate Geo. I don't know who I am anymore. No. no, but that's just dumb. It's a business. They're gonna go out of business because these assholes aren't using it for the way it is. Fuck you, Steve! They go out of business? Yes, a car rental company because people are hanging out in the car too much? Yeah, because they can't charge anymore. They're paying for the fucking thing, I think. I don't know how these work because I don't think, I don't know if I got charged for mile here. So I don't know how it works. In don't Japan. you just have to fill the tank up for whatever yeah, you That's all I remember. No, there is a mileage. I mean, you're not supposed to go over a certain mile. Like, you pay for like a bundle. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because if you could drive from here all the way to like, I don't know. Mexico. Ensenada. Or something and then walk up. Yeah, Mexico, yeah. And then you come all the way back. I, yeah, they should charge you for that. Because it's wear and tear on the yeah. car. Yeah. Maybe I just don't know. Maybe they were fans I, and they I, gave it to you for free. Because I drove to like Vegas or like San Francisco and then that's a long, that's like 100 miles. Oh, or maybe like, you didn't pay attention. He got money like that. The range is pretty big though. It's like 250 miles a day or something like that. Oh. oh. I guess yeah. when you're renting like a car, here. you're doing it to like here. go yeah. somewhere. That's why it's so expensive. Like the baseline is already this much. And mm. you're like, go ahead, take it away. Go drive anywhere you want. Yep. Cause you're already gonna cost this much. One of those egg cars though, those really small ones, they're like, 
30 bucks a day or something. Well, now you have Turo. You have apps that literally someone will come and bring a car to wherever you it's are. It's like Airbnb for a car. Yeah, and it's like 70 bucks for 24 hours to get a van. Someone could literally just like sleep in the back of a van and not pay a hotel room. Dude, the rent is too damn high. That'd be sick. Do you remember being like um, too damn underage and being like, oh man, you gotta be like 23 to rent a car. And I'm like, oh, that sucks. I'm so jealous of today's teens. I'm like, you could just could call Uber. an Uber. Got, you oh, have yeah. freedom like that. Damn. But the parents don't let them call Ubers, do they? Did you see Booksmart? What's that? No. Oh, no. We watched I know. fucking the other dumb movie, the anti Burnside or something. What yeah, is it? Burn, Burn Bright or Bright Burn. Burn. Bright Burn. Oh, Bright Burn. We watched that stupid ass movie uh -huh. instead of it that. Sucked ass. And Booksmart, it's supposed to be like a portrait of today's teens. And they take Ubers every, the whole night. So remember Super Bad, that movie? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they had to like walk and then yeah, they got the police they... car to drive them. Instead, all these problems are solved because these teen girls are just like, woo, woo, woo. Wow. Yeah. You think you'll let Taika just take an Uber everywhere when he's like 15? 15? Uh, 15, yeah. But what about 13? No. Mm -hmm. Under 16 to 13 no. junior high, probably not. Okay. But high school. I was out depends in on the where. streets. And it, you're right, it does depend mm -hmm. where. For like piano lessons, yeah. I'd be like, let me do it on my app. And what city uh, I'm in. If I don't have to fucking move and you can go move for yourself, try it. <laughs> you're gonna be a great father. I saw sports kids at 10 something next to Arcadia High School the other day. I was driving, I was like, it's late. You got you high school kids need to be home. <laughs> I saw uh, gotta be a nine year old kid out at 9.30 at night. And this is how I know I'm closer to being a parent than I am to being a kid. I was like, what are they doing out at night? Ridiculous. How That's deep can good. you make your voice? Very deep. Nine? Oh, yeah. I can go this low. That sounds like Taze on Day. <laughs> it does. That's good. Can you say chocolate rain? How about hi? I want to hear. Hello, Steve. How have you been? Oh, yeah. Every time I see Taze, like, Hello, Hello, Steve. It's nice to see you. Is that chocolate rain guy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For some weird reason, if you type in my name, the first thing that comes up is chocolate rain. What? What'd you do? I had never met him. I didn't even know who he was. Oh. Chocolate rain. I always like to say this to people. Because I know him, I always like to say, oh, you know Adam. And then it trips people out because they're like, what's, wait, what is this? Right, this? Uh, yeah. What's his name? Tazon? Tazon Day. Day. Uh, Not popping up, girl. Mind. Well, it did for a while. It was very strange. How'd you even find out? Or oh, you kept Googling yourself? Yeah. He's got a podcast. Oh, really? Anybody Google should have a podcast. He has a He oh, has that radio yeah. voice, yep. though. Yep. I want to hear your high pitch, though. Go. Oh, how, what, what, how high? Yeah, what kind of like, range you got? I go above. I go above here. You can't go any higher? No. Go higher. Mickey Mouse. You can't go any higher. I'm sorry, I can't go any higher. I'm so sorry! Punch your dick! I don't want to punch my dick! You, you don't want to commit? Yeah, like Joe! Oh, oh, Whoa! That's she was giving really me good. She was giving goosebumps like a You got so high that I stopped hearing you. You got a lot. All the dogs, dude! Well, that's how I get dogs' attention in public. When I see a really cute little fucking fluff in her and I want it to look at me, I just go. Oh, and then it's like. Do that thing? And I'm like, come on. Scratch your little face. Oh my god. For children. Let me touch your dog in public. Gio thinks that if you punch a dude in the dick, it's like fucking home alone. <laughs> and then we're like, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> That's not how it really, works. We're just like, oh fuck. Okay, I guess, gotta, hang on. I gotta fucking, and then we gotta lay down. Yeah. You can't even talk. You can't right. even breathe. No. You're like, I used to fucking kick dudes in the dick in high school oh all the time. Why would you do such a thing? That was like my thing. Oh, that's a good thing. Which have a lot of friends. I got bullied a lot, and so I would, fuck, I would get made fun of for not having titties. A guy walked up to me. And, Why would they do that? Because they're dicks. And they would say, "He go, if you don't have feet, would you wear socks?" And I would be like, "No." And he goes, "Then why do you wear a bra?" And I oh. kick him in the dick. Well, they deserved it. They, were just, they deserved it. I don't apologize. That's okay. Don't Initially, apologize. I thought it was just for no reason. No, be like, I'm not a you monster. Well, I thought you were like, that's my thing. You're like, hi, I'm Kelsey. <laughs> Boom. And then the guy's like, oh, fuck. And, and, he's, and then the, the other friend's there like, what the fuck? Like and he's like, that. it's her thing, it's her thing. <laughs> there does. are people like that, for sure. Yeah. But yeah. was yeah. kicking guys in the dick not a thing when you guys were in uh, elementary school? I wasn't elementary. bullied. Yeah. You were like, I was hot. <laughs> no, I wasn't hot. I just, I think because I'm tall, I just wasn't bullied. Getting late in elementary school? Is that what you said? No. Oh. Getting You're bullied. Like, so did you get laid in elementary school? <laughs> did I say that? I, I thought you said to. getting laid. I was like, what? No, she said can't relate. Oh, that's uh, what you said. You look, you, you a natural beauty. Girls like me hate girls like you because you just wake up and look like that. See, and that's why I got bullied. There you go. Uh -huh. She had it tough too, you know. Hot girls have it tough too. <laughs> no, I was showing you pictures of my high school. I was fucking disgusting. Oh. Yeah. That's like my wife. She was pretty wrecked in high school. Who oh didn't God. get bullied? <laughs> She's not here to defend herself. <laughs> oh, fuck.
I, yeah, I didn't get bullied no matter what. I don't know anyone that hasn't got bullied. Yeah, I got bullied at home like a motherfucker. At Everyone home? got bullied. Yeah. My brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah. wow. Well. Yeah, my wife was pretty busted. Okay, oh, I'm not special. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, you're not unique. You're not a snowflake. At least you retaliated. I was just getting bullied. I'm like, oh, well, that's where the sparkling personality came from. Because I was like, well, I'm not the hot chick, and I'm clearly not the liked chick with tits. So I gotta be funny and really good at beer pong. And boy, am I. Are you really good at beer pong? The best. Wow. The Whoa. Best. The best. Don't you wish that you did another sport that maybe pays me a lot of money? No, because you know what? I got dicked down when I was in college because oh, it came in handy eventually. That's pretty good. My tits never came in though. So. Oh, damn. Don't worry, guys don't really care about tits that much. Not anymore. Oh. <laughs> I'm all about that ass. I've always been about the ass. The ass energy, bud. Or it's all titties all day. I like ass and titties. Hey, hey, equally, hey, equally, hey, equally. I like titties, but if I had to choose. Yep. Isn't it true the same thing about a vagina? Like, I feel like girls are always so worried about what their labias look like. I've never even thought about that. And guys are like, my boyfriend was the one who said, I mean either, I was always like, you get pussy, like you were fucking welcome. I oh, thought my, they all looked the same. Yeah, and my boyfriend was like, yeah. no guy has ever been like, that pussy's not perfect, so I'm not gonna fuck it. Exactly. It's like, yeah. they don't care. Like, it's like a birthday party, I'm happy to be here. Yep. That's literally what it is. Yeah, yeah. it's like, yep. fuck it. So all you girls out there. <laughs> They're worrying about the wrong shit. Yeah. 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 Don't be a bitch. Don't worry about your pussy.